Good afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome to Manchester. Um, Thanks. Manchester City made you their number one choice. Why was Manchester City your number one choice? For a lot of things. First of all, because I, I know the person who, who works here, this Chiqui and Ferranda, they know how I work last year in Spain, and that was a very important reason for me. The second reason, I think we have a very good squad. We have a, a really very good players that we can uh, try to reach important targets. That's the second reason. And the third uh, reason uh, was the fans. I think this club that has incredible fans, playing Premier League, playing in third division, where the, you play, uh, the fans are always uh, together with the, with the team, and that I think is very important also for. But do you see your target being in England winning the Premier League, or is the focus now on the Champions League, where you've had success with Villarreal and Malaga? No, for me, it's exactly the same. We don't have a priority for one uh, 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 competition uh, than the other. I know we have, uh, we have to, uh, to improve in the future what uh, Manchester City have, have done the last years in the Champions League. But also, I think the Premier is so imp as important, uh, same as, as, as champion or FA Cup. We are trying to do our best in, a, in, a, on, in all the competitions. And how big a challenge is it is England coming to England for the first time? America country, uh, it's my fifth country that I work uh, uh, in my career, so I don't have any problem uh, with that. I, a lot of years ago, I made also an international course here in Lillesholm in England, so I don't, I, I don't think I will have any difficult to, to be all what I know, I, all, all what I need to know about uh, the Premier League, so it's not, I'm not concerned about that. You brought in two players. At the moment. Them, At the were, moment. Were they, yeah, were, were they your players? <laughs> were they your choice? Yes, yes, of course. Both Jesuna and Fernandinho. I talked a lot with uh, Chiqui about, uh, about both of them, and uh, they're very important players. And if they are here, because I, I want it. Was it also your decision to let Carlos Tevez leave? I spoke with Carlos uh, a pair of weeks ago. I feel that Carlos didn't want to stay here anymore. He, he was very clear to, to tell me. I think it was the best choice for Carlos and for the club, so that's why Carlos is not here. Two more questions for you. You have two strikers at the moment. We're told that there might be talks with Jovetic and Negredo. Can you, can you update us on where they... No, we have two strikers at the moment and we need another one. But I'm not talking about any different names because just uh, just rumours. When, one, when they are here... Two. We'll see. We'll see what is the best. I, I think we need a very good squad, a strong squad with two players by two players in each position, and we'll try to do our best to have the the best squad we have. And we is need. your job here in England easier because no Sir Alex Ferguson, Chelsea change, Manchester United change, Manchester City change? Does that give you a greater opportunity for success? No, I don't think. I think it will be the same, as same as difficult. If Alex Ferguson will be here, or they, I'm sure they Moyes will do it very well. And and uh, uh, Jose Mourinho knows everything about the Premier League. I think it will be as every year a very competitive uh, Premier League, and with five or six teams that will try to win. Welcome. Thanks. With the new signings that you already have and you mentioned that you will add to that. What can City supporters expect in terms of the way the side will play, the style of football? What will you bring? What will you change? Well, one of the important things because I, I am here is the way my other teams always played. Huh? I think that fans of Manchester City will see a different way, a different, a different way how they play the the other years, I suppose that better or worse, just we'll see about the, the scores we, we have against the other, the other teams. But I am sure that we are going to play an attractive team and uh, attractive game. Um, we'll play always trying, trying to play, in, always in the opposite side, uh, trying to be an, an, an attacking team, trying to, to, be, to do all what uh, all the other teams that I work before 
did it. That's why I, I'm here and try to do it now with, with Manchester City. Now, with the changes, Manchester United are champions, Chelsea with Jose, man, of course, you know well, and also the investment that they have. Who will be your biggest challenge for domestic honours? It's very difficult to say now. Uh, I think here in the Premier League, uh, we have uh, Manchester United, we have Chelsea, we have Arsenal, we have uh, Tottenham. Maybe I, maybe I, I forgot. I forgot another one. Well, five or six teams are always uh, trying to win the, the Premier League, and we we'll try to win uh, with Manchester City. But uh, it's not easy. Than other years, and uh, and I think it will be very very difficult. When you took this job, was it suggested that Champions League would be the most important thing to establish Manchester City in Europe, which is something, of course, that as yet hasn't happened? No, I just answered that question. I think that Premier League is so important as, as, uh, as, as uh, Premier League, as, as Champions League is. I know that the last two years of Manchester City was not very, very good playing champion. I will try to improve the, the next year, but but uh, that's not the only reason for for this for this year. I will try to to take uh, another trophy of the Premier League. It was it was not uh, how okay, how can I say it? When uh, Manchester City won the Premier League, I think was was one of the most important things for for the club. We will try to repeat it. Yeah. The rest? Manuel, you, you'll know um, all about the the rivalry between Manchester City and United I know. in this city. How much are you uh, looking forward to that, and how much might that be part of your thinking? Uh, pardon, how, how much? How much are you looking forward to being part of that that intense rivalry between the two clubs? Well, I, I know that uh, the most important things from all the fans of Manchester City is to to beat uh, Manchester United and. And if I am here, it's because uh, I'm sure we, we will do it. I'm sure that, uh, that uh, this year, same as other years, uh, Manchester City will, will be on top of, of Manchester United. We'll try it at least. I know David Moyes. I played against Manchester United twice in Champions Leagues with Villarreal. In both years, I don't remember, 2006 or 2009, uh, we classified to the, to the last 16 and Manchester didn't do it. So I have experience to play against Manchester United. <laughs> People like to, to uh, put managers in boxes, don't they? Say he's a fierce manager, he's a, he's a uh, calm manager, he's a studious manager. What, what sort of manager do you see yourself as? If they say that, maybe it's true. How would you describe yourself? <laughs> no, I don't want to describe myself. <laughs> Which players? What, you, but what, what are their futures holds? Do they have long which, futures at this Which point? players? Gareth, Barry, well, in the next week we will see all the different um, situations of different players. Huh? We, ha we have at uh, the moment, um, I will speak with, uh, with Chiki. I am always speaking with all the players also to know what they want. Also. And we'll see in the, in the next week what, ha what happened with all of them. Um, can I ask Fernandinho what was his first impression? Quais, quais são as suas primeiras impressões do Manchester City? Ótimas. Very good. Challenge of playing acho que a diferença de, de estilo de jogo que eu jogava, né? No, no, no outro time. E a intensidade de jogos, né? Que são muito mais jovens durante o ano todo. Então, acredito que esses são os principais. I think the main challenge for me is, is the uh, different style of play compared with my last team and uh, uh, also uh, the amount of games that you play throughout the season which is much more than what we are we, than what I was used to. I believe he was Manchester City's top target but somehow how does that how does that make him feel to be wanted so much? I think for me this was important and I want to retribute this in the field fazer com que eu ajude o time a conquistar as vitórias, os títulos, acho que isso aí vai ser mais importante. E eu sei muito da minha responsabilidade em 
I think that was very important for me, and I want to repay uh, the <coughs> club um, for what they've done for me um, by playing well on the pitch and win as many matches and as many trophies as possible. That is one of my main aims. And is it the ideal platform to impress and perhaps go on to play at the World Cup? Só, só os jogos e as vitórias vão dizer, é só o tempo vai dizer, as minhas atuações. The time, my, my performances, and that, that will tell us, and we'll have to wait and see. From, from, from your perspective, what was, what's the view of Manchester City from the outside? We know it from the inside, but from somebody from Brazil, from Ukraine now. No Brasil, tanto no Brasil quanto na Ucrânia, o Manchester City hoje é um dos melhores times do mundo, considerado um dos melhores times do mundo. Depois que eu assinei o contrato aqui, eu fui muito mais é, as pessoas no Brasil, lá no meu país, me, me, me deram os parabéns porque todos sabiam. Então é um, um time que é muito conhecido no Brasil. In Ukraine as well as as well as in Brazil, Manchester City nowadays is considered one of the best teams in the world. And uh, after I signed uh, for Manchester City, the people in, back home in Brazil, they congratulated me for signing for one of the top teams in the world. The man next to you wanted you to, to play for this football club. How big a factor was Manuel Pellegrini <coughs> in your decision to come to Manchester? I think it will be different because I spent a lot of time, for eight years, with the same trainer, so I created a very good relationship with him. I had a very day day with him. E eu espero que aqui possa ser da mesma forma também. Tudo o que ele fez por mim para ajudar a me trazer para cá, eu espero contribuir mm -hmm. dentro de campo. Eu acho que vai ser um pouco diferente, porque eu passei oito anos com o mesmo manager. E a nossa vida no dia a dia foi muito boa. A nossa relação foi fantástica. E eu espero que eu vou construir o mesmo tipo de relação com o Mr. Pellegrini. And uh, in order for me to perform as best as I can. Last question: You, you talked about the challenge of coming to England. How big a season is it for you with the World Cup in Brazil next time? I can only. Ah, eu vou tentar fazer o máximo possível para primeiro ajudar minha equipe, porque depois é a consequência disso eu jogando bem vai chamar atenção do treinador da seleção e possivelmente ele poderá me chamar. Então, meu primeiro passo é jogar bem, ajudar o time a vencer. As outras coisas serão consequências. My, my first uh, aim is to play well for my club, Manchester City. And if I do and have good performances, I'm sure that will uh, call the attention of the national manager. But my first aim and main aim is to help my team and to have good performances for my team. Hi, Manuel. Um, sorry, I have to ask you in English. Um, you always have team players in your teams. Um, do you think maybe we can see a team player in Manchester City in the future? I, I, I can't answer at this moment that question, but uh, we, we will try to bring here to Manchester City the best players of all parts of the world, Latin players or European players, African players, that's not, that's not the problem. We'll try to, be, try to bring here the best. Okay, guys, now if we can have the embargo section.